Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, my. Um, oh, my God. Okay, I need to quit looking into the freaking monitor because in real life, this is really intense. Welcome back everybody. I'm Tassie and I have taken quite a hiatus from YouTube. It has been a whole year. It's been a whole year, you guys. So if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, I have been very active still. However, I really needed this time away from YouTube, especially with how crazy all of 2020 has been. Um, obviously, you know, we're going to 2021 and it doesn't mean everything's going to be better, but Things are getting better for myself, so I will be slowly coming back to YouTube. Now, what sparked me to come back today and do a video, this is actually a makeup tutorial that I've had a lot of people requesting for. What happened was, because of COVID and, you know, with the economy and everything right now, my family and I, we actually did Secret Santa virtually. So everybody sent out their gifts, and then we had to record ourselves opening our gifts. Now... I was a little drunk and <laughs> I was basically opening my gift and I was using my fingers and just spreading the makeup on me and it was so beautiful. <laughs> so it actually has prompted a lot of people to ask me to actually do a real makeup video on my palette that I got. And for Christmas, I my Secret Santa got me the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker Palette. Bam! So I wanted to do a video because of me not using my fingers and actually using brushes. <laughs> really just how they blend, how they work together with other shades. And it was a journey, you guys. So if you're interested in seeing out the real makeup video and how I do my actual makeup, feel free to keep watching. If you're interested in seeing my drunken review, go ahead. I, I'll put the, the link of the description down below. <laughs> All right. So the long-awaited jawbreaker. So I am going to open up my baby. So y'all could see just how beautiful it is. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to do something a little crazy and not what I normally would do because it's not like I'm going anywhere. <laughs> but if you guys don't know, the palette's really hefty. So it has a really good weight to it. The mirror is fantastic. There's a huge honking mirror here. And... I think it's really well made. So I am excited. Oh, and one thing I love is that you can fold it down. Like all the way, even with that mirror there. Because I have some palettes that I do like to use, but you can't do that. Because this is like such a huge palette, you know. Morphe. Okay, so before I start, I use these things. They are shadow shields, basically. I remember my sister was kind of complaining at first that she didn't like it because she said that it pokes her eye. And I told her, you put it on how you want. So put it on in a way where it's not poking your eye, girl. <laughs> really love about this palette is that it's got the mattes, the shimmers, the super light and the super dark shades. So I have no idea what the hell I'm going to do, you guys. Orange juice is this gorgeous orange. So this is orange juice. And I'm just going to wing it and I'm going to do some orange juice. Okay. Girl, stop. <laughs> Put it on. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Ooh, oh, oh, wow. Do you guys... I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, not on camera, but in real life, it's like a shimmer. Um, it's shimmery in the palette, too. I, I should have known that. But it's, it's... Oh, wow. It's very pigmented. This was just with one pickup. And I got all the way across my eye. Oh! It's very pigmented. It covered the whole freaking eye without having to go back in. Um... I just wish that it kind of showed better on camera, but it's actually like, let's see if it'll show better on this side. Like, no, sort of. It looks less pigmented on this side. <laughs> oh my God. It is like, <sighs> so like, <laughs> sparkling. <laughs> okay. It's like a foil. It's in real life. It's like a foil. It's 
Oh, there you go. Now you can kind of see it. Okay. So it's, it's, you see that? It's like, it's like pearly. It's a pearly orange. That's right. I didn't tell you what brush I'm using. This is the Jeffree Star brush and it is JS8. This is the number JS8. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out better. So it's not such a sharp line. Yes, blend it, blend it. It blends out nicely. It's not um, a pigment that I have to keep working at to get it to blend and move. Uh, sometimes when I am working with certain pigments. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> There are certain brands, Urban Decay, <laughs> where you cannot blend that sucker out. It, and the thing is, it's not all of them because I've gotten like the booklets or boxes of Urban Decay stuff and, um, and the Nakeds. And there are certain shades that they have where they do not blend at all. But then again, that was like five, six years ago. Their formulas probably changed. But I'm not going to lie. Because of those, I didn't buy any more Urban Decays. Now with the Taper Blending Sigma E35 brush, I am going to choose, I kind of want to do Bite Me because I don't know. I don't know why I'm going for all these super bright colors, you guys. I mean, like, like super Okay, it's jewel tones, y'all. I'm just addicted to jewel tones. <laughs> Look at this. It's like the shade of my freaking shirt, you guys. <laughs> oh! Oh! my god, I sound like a wolf. Okay, like... <laughs> oh, wow. And I want to like really blend this one out. Oh my god, this is just one pickup. Oh, okay. Um, you can't really see the orange underneath no more. <laughs> okay, so this is the Moda Studio RL brush, it's like a blending brush. So I'm just gonna blend that purple into that orange. It's a clean brush, so. Let's blend it in better with that orange. Oh, it's turning kind of a pinkish shade now with that purple and that orange. Oh, honey, it's very pretty. Ooh. I'm gonna look crazy, but I wanna do a different color on this eye. <laughs> okay, let's take the Jeffree Star JS5 brush Let's do wow. Oh my god, it looks like when you guys are painting or something. <laughs> okay, let's let's do this. Let's see how this looks. Oh. Okay. It's so pretty. Oh my god. It's very very I'm going to grab more yellow. Oh my god, this is like a sunset looking eye now. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. It's okay. Ooh, it's very pretty. Take the Jeffree Star JS13 brush because I feel like I really need and I really want some lemon drop right here. I'm kind of thinking now I probably should have done Lemon Drop and then did this, oh, but you know what? Yeah, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna see how this looks. Oh my freaking God. That's so pretty. Oh my God. Oh God. <laughs> it's a lot brighter than I thought. <laughs> it's okay, I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> This is why you need to play with your palette so that you kind of see how it, it's going to look. Holy cow, Lemon Drop is so extreme. 
Yeah, it made wow subtle. <laughs> Lemon drop is like, bam. All right, I'm going to go back to my Jeffree Star JS8, where I originally used for orange juice, because I want that orange to come out a bit more now, like, so that way you can see it. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Let's do some more bite me over here. And the reason I want to darken it is because I'm going to do a cut crease, baby. Yes. I need to blend it. It's a little thick. Okay, so using Born This Way Snow, the shade Snow, and I'm using a Moda brush which is kind of like this tapered flat brush. I've been using this. I actually have two cut crease brushes, but it's in storage right now. So I am just going to grab some of the actual concealer. And what I normally do for my cut creases is that I kind of do this and then I look up. That didn't do it. <laughs> am I looking up? <laughs> Okay, maybe I need to put more on there. Okay, you see that line? I kind of want to get it up there. I mean, do I want a halo or I only, no, I'm just going to go for it. I, I do want that dark purple to still show through though. So I don't want to go up too high. And then my ends here, I always just use my finger. So that, you know, nobody wants a harsh line. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my finger here to kind of blend that out a bit. Unless you're really going for that harsh line, you know, like the design where you have an empty negative space in between. Any brush will do if you don't want to spend the money on an actual cut crease brush. Any brush will do, honey. On my purple side, I'm going to use the Jeffree Star JS. 10 brush and I am going to go I'm going to go with bubble gum on this eye seriously it's like okay this brush is pink but it's like just packs it it's so pretty I still want that purple to show through, so I might come back in with that purple just to darken it up there. Now, I can't tell if it's because my brush is so tiny that I had to go back a couple of times, but I really, really like how true to color it is from the pan onto your eyeball. Yes. I'm just going to flip this brush and uh, go back into Bite Me. And I'm just going to draw right above that line because I want that dark purple to show through. E35, which initially had that purple, I'm just going to help that along. I don't want that really sharp line. I want it blended out better. Yes. Let's go back to my orange juice brush. And... Blend, blend. All right, at the very end, I'm going to use the JS12 Jeffree Star brush. And I want delicious. Normally for me, I like to do a lighter shade here, and then it ends it with being like dark, pretty much. Um, I like that look. Oh my God, it's so dark. Okay. Yeah, I like it being like a smoky dark at the end of my eyes. I don't like it being like one whole shade. Like, I'm just using a million brushes and a million colors here. Yeah, I just like that darker look. But I don't want to go in too far to take away from my bubble gum. So I'm going to take my purple brush I was using and kind of flip it. Just kind of blend it in better. So it's not such a harsh line. All right, we need some more bubble gum because now it's getting too dark. More bubble gum. 
Oh yeah, there we go. I am thoroughly impressed by these colors. Look at that fallout though. But I was also going into it. But this bubblegum, how light it is, and it covered the darkest shade in the palette. <laughs> I mean, wow. Oh. All right, on to this buy. So with my Jeffree Star JS6, but let's do brain freeze. Oh, to maybe too much brain freeze. <laughs> let's just go for it, man. Ooh, very pretty. Wow. You can see on here there's a bit of fallout from brain freeze. It could be my brush and the angle I'm going into. Oh my god, it looks so good. It pops so freaking much. I mean, the pink and the purple, they're kind of like, you know, close. But this blue and how it stands out, like, wow. Using the Jeffree Star JS9. Let's just do green because soaked, I feel like, is a color I'm going to wear. So there's a bit of fallout from this as well. I feel like soaked is this bluish purple here. I feel like that's a color I would wear. So I really want to do like crazy stuff and just experiment, you know? Okay. Oh my God. Why did I go with green? Because now this looks like the earth. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of hesitant about the green because it's not... To me, I feel like the blue is darker than the green. So I should have just done the green in the center here and then did the blue on the outside. Oh, man, I should have. Because it's not... I mean, on in the pan, it looks like it's darker than the blue. But the blue popped out more. Oh, you know what, though? I do have concealer here. I guess we are getting some soaked. Okay, girl. I guess we're just creating our own colors. Blue-green. Okay, this is weird. I feel like the yellow is still coming through here. It's not sticking. Let's grab more soaked and let's see what's going on. All right, so that's sticking. I don't know what just happened to my eye. <laughs> okay, first off, there shouldn't be that extreme of a way. <laughs> I think I need to focus. <laughs> oh, you, do you see this? As I'm brushing it back and forth to blend it out, it's wiping it off again. Yeah, I feel like there's like this gap here. What is that? Um... Let's see if we can fix this. Okay. I, I don't know if we can. <laughs> huh. All right. I'm going to grab sour with my finger. I mean, it's super pigmented. Um, let's see. So I feel like it's going on fine with my finger. I do know that this is concealer underneath. And that's probably why it's sticking so well. Whereas I feel like sour doesn't stick really well on top of lemon drop. And wow. So let's do the soaked color here. And... Let's just kind of see if we can blend this out. Okay, it's it's sticking better with my finger. But I need to blend it. And I'm afraid when I blend it, it's going to come off again. I'm going to take Jeffree Star the JS13 brush. And how it's like really tiny like this. And I am going to take the soaked. This blue I'm just going to kind of 
go over this. Okay. And I don't want to like overwork that area again, you know? Okay. And then I'm going to take the yellow that I had for wow. And I'm just going to kind of try to blend that a bit. Yeah. There we go. We are saving it. I definitely don't know how I feel about sour. I feel like it needs to um, be placed on concealer and not on top of another shade because I didn't think that that color, it stuck well. What I do really like because of the whole debacle that we had here, what I do really like is how you can actually blend these shades and it, it, some of them will cover the other colors, but at the same time it blends it to be another shade. So that's what I really like. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's so freaking pretty. Okay. I need to blend this eye out. It's really driving me crazy. But I'm so afraid to blend it. <laughs> Alright, so taking the JS6 here, I am going to like try not to touch it too much, but try to blend it out. looking better it's looking better it ain't perfect but it's looking better so i am going to i use um the tartiest the double end where one side is a gel liner and then the other side is the felt tip ink liner this is my favorite it is of course 24 hour waterproof so what i do from here is i tend to take these off look at that line y'all Oh my God, praying, praying. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. I feel like it's darker here than it is up there, but you know what? My lashes will cover it. Okay, so I take, I use the felt tip a lot and I don't know if I can do this looking at a screen, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of a wing here. Because I have hooded eyes, I don't close my eyes when I connect it. I actually leave my eyes open, but I just start with the end here and I just drag a line out. Let's draw our inner eye first. I'm trying to do this so that you guys can see what I need to see too. <laughs> God, I hope you guys caught that. <laughs> oh God, I just felt myself touching all over the place. <laughs> I'm actually not like super careful about my liner because I wear such big lashes anyways. It covers them. That right there was a leap of faith. I couldn't really tell what I was touching. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, I'm going for it. <sighs> All right, so I put on my lashes and then I do my under eye. Don't ask, it's just something I do. Now I actually use Glamnetic Lashes. So, I have several different pairs. All right, I'm going to do Lush. I'm going to do the Lush. So, these are my Glamnetic Lashes. They are magnetic, and it comes with a liner. Okay, not really. You have to buy it. But anyways, but this is the magnetic liner, and it's black. And what I normally do is I draw my line and my wing, and then I do just this part right here because it's a little shiny, so if you do this part as your wing, your wing will look a little shiny. And if you don't know anything about magnetic lashes, there's little magnets actually on here. They're very, very tiny, but see that? And then all it does is as soon as you put the liner on, you don't let it dry too much. Some people make the mistake where they let it dry for too long. Literally, put it on. Wait like a, literally one or two seconds and then just plop it on. And then when you open it, 
Ugh. This is what it looks like. It's actually a thin applicator, but, ugh, but that thickness is the product. Oh God. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I'm going to look in the mirror. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Make sure you get in the inner corner of your eye and just draw a straight line across. And then I do my other eye. Don't look up because it needs to dry or else it's going to get on your upper lids. But I definitely do love Glamnetic Lashes. And you can move them after you put them on. If you find that you put them too close or something like that, you can just pull it right off. Literally, it sticks right to your liner. Bam. I do love these lashes, but they are expensive. For my under eye, I'm going to go a little bright, I'm thinking. Jawbreaker. I want to try out this Jawbreaker. It's named after the palette. This is an old brush from the Naked Palette days. I loved their brush though. Um, let's let me try to put it on my inner corner here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Am I not getting enough product? I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh no, I can see that now. Oh yeah. Ooh is very bright. In fact, this is like a freaking shiny white. Okay, it may not pick up that well on camera, but in real life, it's like, bling! okay. <laughs> All right, using the same brush, I want a stand out color. So I'm going to do cotton candy. This is cotton candy. And let's just be all crazy, you know, crazy. Oh, honey. But this is my shade. I wear colors like this all the time. And I pick up palettes on purpose that has these colors. <laughs> let's do cute. Cute. Did not. Oh God, it's a little chalky. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh my. Um. Oh my God. Okay, I need to quit looking into the freaking monitor because in real life this is really intense. It's very, very intense, you guys. I don't think you realize how intense it is. I want to try. I'm just gonna say F. It's called F and. Cause it's such a pretty peachy color. Oh, okay, this one shows up more. Oh yeah. In real life, it shows up nicely. I just need to quit looking at the camera. Oh, but I feel like it took away the color. So let's go into brain freeze and let's blue it up. Okay, I, I, it's, just, it's, getting, it's getting more and more intense in real life. I need to just stop. <laughs> okay, to finish it off, we are doing it. We are doing the Fenty Beauty. And this is color is called Unattached. Like, y'all. Come on, Fenty. All right, Fenty, this color. <sighs> you know what? It goes with the look. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Mm. I don't know how I feel. On camera, it looks great. It looks like it goes with my crazy eyes. But in person, it's looking a little drying. And it's, um, you know what? I just need to get used to it. It's very, very bright. <laughs> okay, so I fixed my lash. And I definitely want to say 
I love this palette. I freaking love the palette. I think that this palette, I mean, I am somebody who I am addicted to makeup. I'm not even gonna lie. I have a problem. <laughs> okay. So I literally have boxes and boxes and boxes of makeup and brushes galore. And I love testing and trying out new products, things that I don't like, or it doesn't really work for me. I always end up giving them away. <laughs> Fenty. <clears throat> but I will say the Jawbreaker palette by Jeffree Star. This is a home runner for me. This, I mean, I have more palettes than I should have in my entire life. <laughs> I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. It is well constructed, well made. The pigments are there. It is so phenomenal. I definitely recommend for everybody play with any makeup that you have under different conditions, under different scenarios, because really that's the only way you're going to become really good at the products that you have. Just like how I'm with different eye colors now. So really, because you never know what the pigments are going to look like on different skin tones and how it's going to react to different products, even with each other's shades. So even though it's from the same pan and company overall, just like how Sour didn't really go well over Brain Freeze and Sour to me, if I ever use it, I will know I need to put a concealer underneath and then put it on top because it doesn't stick on, especially if I'm using Lemon Drop where it's very like shimmery and pearl and I was gonna say pearlescent iridescent <laughs> where it's really iridescent it doesn't stick on as well so you really have to know how to work with your shades that you guys have and how they're formulated just really if you're gonna be using your finger or are you gonna be using brushes and how well it will go together but Overall, I definitely recommend this. Definitely a huge shout out to my Secret Santa and my other Secret Santa for getting me this shirt. So, um, you know, like I absolutely love my Christmas gifts and this was such a fun video to do, but oh my God, it was so long. Like makeup videos are so long. But you guys, until next time, thank you for watching.